Hi DIYers, Sterling from Alarm Grid here and today we're going to show you how to learn in a wireless 5828 keypad to your Lynx Touch L5100 security panel. So, there are two versions of the 5828 wireless keypad. We have the 5828V. You can see that there's a microphone in the top corner because V is for voice. This keypad will actually give you the same voice enunciations that your main Lynx Touch panel will do. We also have a generic 5828. You can see there is no microphone in the corner and this one will not do the voice enunciation but it will give you your regular chime. So these are your two options for wireless keypads. Many people ask us are you able to learn a or add a Lynx Touch control panel to a Lynx Touch as a secondary controller. Unfortunately you cannot. So your 5828 or your 5828V are your options for secondary controllers. This is a bi-directional device. We've talked about this in the past where bi-directional means that this panel uh, keypad will talk to the system and can request status from the system different than a wireless sensor that simply sends an alarm to the panel. So for all bi-directional uh, devices whether it's a keypad or a key fob, the 5804BD, you need to set the RF house ID code in your panel and then you assign the house ID to the keypad and that's how they know to talk to each other so that you don't end up arming your neighbor's Lynx Touch by accident. So we've already assigned a house ID in our panel. We have a video showing you how to do that. We've set it to the default 1, 0 or 10 and we're going to now show you how to program this keypad. To get into programming we have to first wake this keypad up. So because of that I'm going to mention that this keypad while it's battery operated and does not need AC power it does go to sleep mode. That's because it's powered by three AA batteries and to avoid having to change your batteries out every week it goes to sleep after a period of inactivity. 15 seconds, keypad goes blank. Pressing any key on the keypad will do nothing. The only way to wake it up is to press and hold the star key. You can then see that your keypad wakes up and is ready to be used. So we do recommend that you add a K0991 transformer it's an AC adapter, plugs into the back, there's a DC port on the back that it plugs up into, plug it into the wall, and then it will never time out on you. So as we go through programming, we may have it time out as I talk, you always press the star key to wake it up. So, wake it up. It's on. Ready to on. To get into programming, you simply press one and three together on the keypad. You hold it down for five seconds and the display will show an alternating double zero and a double horizontal dash. There are many programming options. We're just going to show you how to assign it to the panel. So you go 1 to set the house ID. It'll toggle between T1 and the house ID code programmed. We've happened to choose the default 1 0. So if we press star, then we've assigned it to the house ID. The next option is op programming option 2. So we're back to the double zeros, double dashes. We press 2. Now we're in the T2 programming. It's default set to 2 for a Lynx system. If we had a Vista series panel, we would change that T2 to 1, but no, we have a Lynx, so we're going to change it back to 2. You press star to confirm that setting. You're back to the main double zero, double dash, and when you press star, it's on. Ready to arm. Chime. keypad shows you AC, shows you chime, and you can go ahead and arm the system. Oops, 1, 2, 3, 4, away. Your Lynx Touch panel will arm. Your keypad gives you the same enunciation, shows away. Same idea, one, two, three, four, and then off. System disarms. Keypad gives you that enunciation and shows you how we have programmed our 5828V wireless keypad to our Lynx Touch wireless system. If you have any questions on programming your keypad, please leave us a comment in the section below and make sure to subscribe to our channel for future videos.